This short video will be about strengthening your writing using sensory details and word choice. Whenever you're writing, you want to use specific nouns more than non-specific nouns if you want your reader to be able to see and become more part of the story. Um, a specific noun gives a reader a better idea of what is going on in the text. Um, instead of just saying the girl, the boy, the woman, the man, the child, you can use specific names. Instead of just creating a generic store, you can say Walmart, JCPenney, or create your own store name. Uh, same thing goes with places. I uh, just used Amazon Rainforest as an example. You could actually go and create your own place name, but make it to where the reader can have a location or have a better idea of location. Um, instead of saying that you are happy, sad, upset, afraid, you could expand and use different words that would actually more concretely describe what you're feeling. So instead of saying that you are happy, you could say you're ecstatic. Or if you're afraid, you could say, I'm terrified. All right, common verbs versus vivid verbs. As you can see, um, vivid verbs give a better idea of the movement going on in the story. It helps the reader see what is happening in the story. So instead of just saying the girl ran, you could say that she dashed or she sprinted across the finish line or she's just simply jogging down the street. Sensory details, they can, sensory details is simply your five senses, sight, hearing, taste, touch, and smell. This helps the readers connect to the test, text, and again, it helps the readers sense what is going on in the story. Um, Jenna finished the final pretzel in the bag, and her tongue was coated with a salty sweet taste of chocolate-covered pretzels. She decided they were the best treat she ever had. You see specific words in here. You see specific nouns, such as Jenna, and then you can also see sensory details being used salty sweet taste of chocolate covered pretzels and then you get an idea of what's going on in her mind she decided they were the best treat she ever had the silver stars shine brightly against the blackness of the night twinkling like diamonds see this is more descriptive it's painting a picture for the reader the smell i mean the trash can't smell bad because it was sitting in the sun all day I um, mean, you could kind of imagine what that would smell like, or you can go with a more specific, the disgusting smell of rotting vegetables and rancid meat drifted out of the trash can that had been warmed by the sun. That paints a pretty disgusting picture. Well, that's the end of this video. I hoped it helped. Go out there and create stronger writing. Thank you.